So now that our still life is completely dry, we are going to use two different blues, red and yellow, and we're gonna mix up the warm tones because we started with the cool ones. And this is a very watery first glaze where we just put thin watery layers over the painting that we already have and we let them dry. And so I'm starting with the reds, the yellows, kind of across the board, one color at a time. And now I'm gonna mix up some of the cool colors. I've let the warm colors dry and I am going into all the areas that are not necessarily represented by just the original dark blue and white. Filling these in and I let them dry in between so the colors don't get muddy. Next, I'm coming in with the tints. That's our colors plus white. And every time I go back in, my paint layers get a little bit more opaque and a little bit more deliberate and I'm letting them dry in between. And it's important to let your glaze layers dry and glaze over them because that's where you get the saturation and the vibrance. And I'm going in with just some details at this point. And then to really see what it looks like, we gotta let it dry. And there it is dry, all done.